Um, I didn't really know my dad. My dad was never there in my life. And um, I thought, I didn't think, really anything of him because my grandfather was there. So my grandfather kind of took his place, raised me along with my grandmother. Back in the day, I thought my dad knew everybody in the world. He was just this fun, loving guy. He knew no strangers, uh, but he was definitely a friendly person and he was a hard worker. Back in the day, I thought my dad was Superman. I thought he was the coolest uh, man on the planet. I thought my dad was invincible. I thought my dad uh, could beat up anybody else's dad. <laughs> Um, I knew my dad loved me. I knew my dad loved us. And I thought he would do anything for us. I thought he walked and lived a life of sacrifice um, on our behalf. As a little boy, I don't think I ever thought about what it was gonna be like to be a dad because I was so involved in sports. I stayed outside dancing, hanging out with my friends. Um, I had a really you know, cool community I grew up in. Um, anyone that says that it's always easy or it's never without challenge maybe isn't walking in the full responsibilities of it. But yes, there are times when it's hard being a dad. Um, do I think dads had it easier back in the day? No, because nothing new under the sun. Um, but I do think that the attack is different today. Dads are so, so important because they made the kid be there for what you made. <laughs> They're important. Like, it's so, there's so many reasons why a dad is important. If I ever saw anyone harming my child, I couldn't tell you what I would do because it would be basic instinct, but um, I just know that um, I would get away with it. If I ever saw anyone harming my child, we, we record, right? We can't do that, let's pass this question. The restraint, I'm sure it took God um, to not come down and just destroy the entire world on behalf of his son. I'm sure it took major restraint, but then again, God put his son in that situation. He presented his son as a living sacrifice. So, although I'm sure it hurt God's heart, he created that to happen. He was already prepared for it. He is God, he knew it was gonna happen. If we were in that situation, it would be different. The gift I want this Father's Day is just, um, you know, just my family around and, um, you know, just my family around. What I want for Father's Day? Well, I want everybody watching this video, since I'm a great dad, to pledge $1,000 to the Caleb Likes College Foundation Fund. Hey, I'm not a gift dude. I'm. I mean, I like gifts like anyone else, but I like what they represent more. You know, I get more from that piece than, hey, here's some nice jeans or, you know, you know, some kind of shoes or something. I love feeling the connection. So however that manifests, I'm open to. Words from my daughter that she's able to be honest with me. And she's able to tell me and look me in the face really what kind of dad I am. And I, I, the kind of daughter I have, I don't think she'll ever lie to me. I think she looked in my face and be like, Dad, you're amazing, and I'm whack. If I was whack, she'd be like, Dad, you're pretty whack. And I appreciate that about her. I trust her that, that whenever she tells me something, it's generally coming from a good place. Not to just appease me or to, or to puff me up, but I think it's coming from a very genuine place. And, um, and so what I want for this Father's Day, I want to be alive. I want my family to be alive. I want us to be able to embrace on that day.